Hello friends and good buddy Stuff from CorkMV.com. Welcome to day seven of the 2023 Cork Envy Adult Beverage Advent Calendar Video Series. Let's see what's behind the door today, shall we? All right, friends, you see what we have behind the door today? We have a bourbon whiskey today. We have Buffalo Trace bourbon whiskey. It can be any bourbon whiskey for our purposes today because we are indeed making a festive cocktail. Today, friends, we'll be making a Boulevardier cocktail. Now, Boulevardier cocktail was, I believe, first created in France in the 1920s, give or take. Kind of lost favor, lost, you know, we lost sight of it for a while as far as what it, uh, you know, the cocktail itself kind of gained some traction uh, coming back into the, uh, you know, craft cocktail movement of the 2000s. So, quite simply, a Boulevardier is basically a bit of a take on a Negroni. We've got bourbon. We have our bitter component and our Campari. And then we have our sweet component component with our sweet vermouth here. Um, gosh, you can look and find different specs on this right here. Um, you know, typically you're gonna have a one to one to one ratio. Sometimes you have a two bourbon to one to one on the uh, vermouth and the Campari. I like to do about a two to one to one personally. Uh, you still get the bitter and the sweet. Uh, when you do that from the Campari and the other components there. But um, yeah, it's kind of a nice drink. I like to let the bourbon uh, kind of shine in this. Uh, you can also change this up and make it with rye whiskey as well if you uh, so desire. Now, you'll also see specs to serve this over ice cubes or a big block of ice. You can serve it however you'd like. Today, friends, because we're celebrating and we're fancy, I'm just gonna put it in a nice little cocktail glass here. So we'll have that. And we're just gonna strain into the cocktail glass. Once again today, I used about a two to one to one ratio there, uh, bourbon to Campari to vermouth for mine today. Um, once again, do it as you want. And then we're gonna garnish this simply with a bit of an orange peel. And we'll spread some oils over top of it. And there you are, friends. A lovely Boulevardier cocktail for the season. Let's we'll see if I did all right today with this one. Oh yeah, wow. Such a great cocktail. The just little sweetness of the roof is great. The slight bitterness you get from the Campari, it just kind of pops all of the flavors, the oaky flavors of the bourbon there. It's a very boozy cocktail, friends, so be careful when you're sinking these at your holiday parties, which no doubt you'll be attending this weekend, at least the first of your holiday parties. And this is a great drink, so if you're making drinks or you need to bring something, maybe this is a nice thing that, uh, a nice drink to uh, present that uh, probably, you know, a lot of people don't know about if they're not involved in the craft cocktail game. I love this cocktail so much that I actually wrote today's holiday haiku about it and the season. Are we ready for day seven holiday haiku, friends? Let's do it. Joyful elixir, menage a trois of spirits, whiskey, bitter, sweet. You know, friends, I know this holiday season can be bitter and sweet for a lot of us here. I wanna remind you today to focus on the sweet parts of it, but also give a little homage to the bitter because uh, that helps make us who we are as well and makes the sweet all the more sweeter. All right, friends, as always, thanks for joining. Thanks for sharing, commenting, doing all the things. Let me know one of your favorite uh, cocktails to have at a party if you will in the comments. How about that? All right, friends, until tomorrow, remember to be nice, be safe, and be happy. Cheers, mates.